Caves have long been sources of intrigue for humans all over the world and throughout history. They harbour some of our most profound mysteries, which lie protected deep within their cavernous interiors. Discovering the mystery of these caves, along with discovering the caves themselves, is a field that many people have devoted their lives to. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be talking about three interesting cave discoveries from France to Canada to Mars, and what their interiors had to teach us about the world. Unexplored Sarlacc Pit Cave Discovered in Canada It may sometimes seem as though we have explored, discovered and mapped out almost every element of the Earth. The fact remains that we aren't sure just how much of our world lies hidden and unknown, and surprising revelations are made on the planet every day. One such discovery occurred in Canada when officials conducting an aerial caribou count over alpine lands in a national park in western Canada happened to notice the gaping mouth of a massive cavern as they flew overhead by helicopter. After initial investigation and analysis, it appears that the cave, which is breathtaking in its enormity, may have never been seen or explored by humans before, making the impressive entity a nationally significant find, according to John Pollock, an archaeological surveyor who was impressed with his recent visit to the site. He continued with his recollection of the site to Canadian Geographic by saying, I've been in some of the biggest caves in the world, and this thing has an entrance that is truly immense, and not just by Canadian standards. When you're standing on the edge looking down into it, your line of sight is nearly 600 feet. And although you can see up to 600 feet, it has not yet been determined exactly how deep this incredible cave extends. A climbing team intent on discovering the true depths of the cavern, which has an opening that measures 100 meters by 60 meters, was only able to descend approximately 80 meters before their path was obstructed by an underground river that flowed through the depths of the mysteriously large cave. Upon further inspection, experts estimate that the cave extends down with the river for over two kilometers before emerging 500 meters lower. If this is true, this cave would be one of the biggest in Canada. Even more fascinating is the fact that experts believe that this cave, which was nicknamed Sarlacc's Pit after the Star Wars creature living in a similar abode, has likely remained hidden for most if not all of its existence, making those first explorers likely the first humans to have ever set foot inside of the cave. Experts studying the features and its location believe that it likely was covered in snow and hidden for thousands of years, possibly only being revealed as distant as the late 1990s, as rising temperatures as a result of global warming in the area caused widespread snowmelt. But how did such a massive shaft come to exist in the first place? It seems that melting ice from nearby glaciers likely carved the gigantic rift into the earth over the course of millions of years meaning that during certain times of the year, the underground river is likely bursting with icy water carried from upstream snowmelts, a phenomenon that suggests possibly as much as 15 cubic meters per second of water rushing over the cave's edge. The exact location of the cave has been kept secret to preserve its natural beauty and any historic secrets that it might be keeping. It seems that even if its location were known, exploration of it would not be for the faint of heart. Pollock did reveal that this cave is truly in the middle of nowhere. It's out there in mountainous terrain, surrounded by glaciers and at the bottom of a 45-degree avalanche slope that rises 2,000 to 2,500 feet above it, meaning you can't go into it in winter. This is a wild place. But all the best discoveries are made in the wildest places, and this cave appears to be amongst the wildest of them all. Gigantic dinosaur footprints are found on the roof of a cave. Some things lie deeply hidden within the unexplored wilderness of the world. There are other ancient secrets that have managed to hide in plain sight for centuries. Recently, the distinct footprints of sauropods, which are enormous 30 meter long herbivorous dinosaurs with giraffe like necks, were discovered on the roof of a cave in the southeastern region of France, according to an article published by paleontologist. Jean-David Moreau, detailing the discovery. What is even more amazing is the fact that this cave is one that is common with novice cavers, hosting thousands of visitors 
and it was not until a group of amateur potholers ventured into the depths that the clearly visible tracks were noticed on the roof of the cave. Despite its popularity, the cavern is only accessible via a long, difficult-to-navigate passage opening out into a great tunnel, measuring 80 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 10 meters high. It was in this large chamber that the group first spotted the tracks and recognized them for what they were, although identifying them was a much harder challenge. Moreau was among the potholers on the outing that exciting day and returned with his team several more times to study the three 20-meter-long trails that were only slightly visible by the weak light of their headlamps. What's so incredible is that thousands of people have passed through this cave without ever seeing a thing, reported Moreau. All it took was for one person to take a closer look than usual at the ceiling, and there they were, clearly visible, the tracks of footprints apparently made by giant dinosaurs. Dinosaur prints had been found in the region before. This discovery marked the first time that giant dinosaur prints were discovered in a cave anywhere in the world, and the first time that sauropod prints had been discovered in that region. The prints themselves appear to have been laid down a mind-boggling 170 million years ago, during the 55 million year Jurassic period. Interestingly, the trails that were noted on the ceiling are not actually evidence of dinosaurs walking about upside down. Moreau explains that there hasn't been any upheaval in the geological strata. The trails that we see are actually casts, corresponding to the base of the sauropod's feet. It is as if you were looking at the tracks left by the dinosaurs from below. What happened is that infiltrated water eroded the rock beneath the sedimentary layer which contains the footprints. Undoubtedly, this unique discovery will ignite research of paleontology in the region, especially considering that no large herbivores had been discovered. It will be interesting to see what the study of these fossils reveals. Mission to Explore Caves on Mars Intrigues Scientists Currently, NASA is launching efforts aimed at bringing back samples of rock and soil from Mars so that they can be analyzed here on Earth, but they have their sights set on samples from more subterranean locales. There will likely be much information learned from these initial sample return missions. Many scientists believe that any signs of life that may be lurking on the promising red planet are likely buried deep below the surface, meaning that robotic exploration of some of the caves on the planet would be necessary. It turns out that caves and other subterranean formations, such as lava tubes, are incredibly common on Mars due to the volcanic nature of its past. The lava tubes are of special interest to researchers for their potential to harbor a vast wealth of information about the planet's history. Penny Boston, an astrobiologist with the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology, said that something like the lava tubes could be wonderful traps for material from past climate regimes particles from previous epochs on Mars. One of the reasons that Mars is a suspect for extraterrestrial life is due to the fact that water flowed across its surface at some point in its history, and lava tubes have been known to commonly trap materials such as water, and the icy insides of the planet might host frozen samples of such life forms trapped and preserved below the surface. Some researchers even hope that there may be microscopic organisms that might be living undiscovered in the less inhospitable habitat of the lava tubes. The subsurface is going to be radically different from the surface, Boston said, elaborating on the possibilities that lie below the outer layers of Mars. Every indication we have from caves of all different kinds all over this planet shows that it does not take much separation vertically for a radically different environment. However, such a subterranean endeavor is no easy task and would require intense preparation, planning, and technological advances to see it through and successfully pilot rovers where no human invention has gone before, deep below the surface of Mars. At the end of the day, even though much more is known about Mars than most of the other planets in the solar system, we still don't have many details about its formation and history including the elusive question of whether or not it has or continues to harbor life. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.